Full mind utilization to us, I think, means that we're firing on all our pistons at once. Another metaphor which is even more accurate is that of the brain as an antenna that pulls in different radio stations. The mind is what's broadcasting at this collective level. The little brain is picking up pieces or Mm. stations of that, but mind itself cannot be contained inside the brain. So if we're working within paradigms that make those constrictions, it hampers us enormously because we do what we believe we can do and not more. So the very first thing we have to do is push back the old paradigms that restricted us to the idea of my thoughts inside of my brain and basically blow it wide open and say, no, we're talking about mind. We're talking about the process of ideas coming into awareness at multiple levels, in multiple places in your physical body, in multiple dynamics that are both intrapersonal and interpersonal, as well as contextual that involve various kinds of communication, conscious and unconscious, with the entire planet. In the West, our idea of romance and love, we always think of the heart. We know, oh, I love. (laughs) And I was talking with a Chinese friend who gave a Chinese phrase, and I said, what does that mean? He said, it's something we say when we're making love. It's, oh, my liver. (laughs) And I was, your liver? Well, of course, it turns out that the molecules of emotion are throughout the body, but that there's a particular, uh, very large percent of them in the gut. Mm. And reading Candace Pert's book, The Molecules of Emotion, I realized that is as good a metaphor as to clutch one's heart, and perhaps even better, because that's where a lot of the emotional stuff, processes actually happen. So this put me in touch with that whole idea of, so what are the paradigms or the constructs we have about thinking? And of course, we always point to our craniums, our heads, as if this is where it all happens. And that is also a disservice to us now. Because as long as we're restricting the idea of thought to be a brain activity that happens inside the skull, we've missed the most important truth about our personal thinking, which is that it doesn't happen outside of a much greater context. Full mind utilization is an enormously exciting uh, 360 degree kind of topic. And it begins with teaching you how to unlearn what you were taught when you were younger. 